Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to feature the January card kit by Simon Says Stamp and first let's take a quick look on what's included. So first of all you get two packs of pom-poms in various colors and sizes. You will also get the Distress Oxide uh, Custom Blend. This is actually an ink pad which is completely dry, it doesn't contain any ink and it is supposed to be used as a palette. Use your re-inkers on it to create your very own color or create an ombre look. In the kit you will also get three black large uh, tags and also an envelope. You will also get this die, this is called Twirling Ice Skater and it is just adorable. I will be creating my first card using this die, so you will see just an idea on how to use it. Now you also get glossy accents, always handy. You get a thread and I will be using it on some of my cards, especially with the pom-poms. And um, you can create little garlands with those. Now you also get 6x6 papers, these are double sided in beautiful winter colors, I love the blues, the snowflakes, there are mittens and uh, snowmen as well as penguins on it, beautiful pattern papers and I will be using those a lot for my cards today. And finally you get this big uh, Simon's stamp, uh, stamp set, this is uh, perfect for winter, lots of sentiments, lots of images such as penguins, snowmen, as well as an igloo. And you also get three colored cardstocks for your cards. Now lately I have a different approach on using up the cardstock included in those kits, so I just cut it out in four panels, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I use those panels to create all my card fronts. Then I just stick those panels on top of pre-folded white cards that I have in my stash. This way the inside is always white so that I can write easily my message or just stamp the sentiment on the inside. And I find this approach works great for me. So that's just my way. Now let's move on to the first card. For that I used some uh, white glitter paper to cut out the little girl and now I will find, uh, try and find a pattern paper that helps this white cardstock to stand out. So I will uh, go for a darker one and I think this looks perfect. So now I'm going for a spinner card and uh, I have cut out the girl one more time as you can see so that I can sandwich this piece of thread on the inside. I'm just going to stick it there temporarily. With this uh, tape adhesive I know that uh, the string is going to stay in place and then I can add even more white glue to put those two pieces together. Now down below you will find a link to this card kit which is still available by the way but you will also find uh, links to the products that I'm using individually so if you want to grab only the stamp set which is absolutely great or this uh, cute little die you can do so if you wish. Now I'm going to stick those two cutouts together, making sure that the glitter side is on the outside. And now you can see I have my spinner element ready to go on my card. Now for the card base all I have to do is to just cut out a window at the center. And um, I am going to do that at the same time, so I'm going to cut out the main card base as well as the uh, panel, so that I can align them easily later on. And now I have all the pieces that I need to put together my card. Uh, now it's just a matter of uh, putting everything together. But before that I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I will go with uh, the one that says Winter Hello. And I will white emboss it at the bottom of my card base. Now to put together one of those spinner cards it's really easy. All you have to do is just secure the thread at the top and at the bottom making sure that the circle that you have cut out, the window that you have for your element is uh, big enough to allow for a nice spinning. I will uh, chop off the excess and then just place on top the pattern paper and they are going to align perfectly since I did the cutting at the same time. At this stage you can call your card uh, ready but if you are like me and you want more contrast behind your uh, spinning element then just stick uh, the pattern paper on the inside of your card. This is where I decided to add a little ring around the window. I cut it out by using two circles one inside the other and this I think makes it look more finished. 
And that's what you do when you can you don't know when to stop with little details. So I'm adding some uh, gems here and there at the center of some of the snowflakes, not everywhere. And before you put this card inside an envelope, make sure to give it a good spin. So when they open the card, this is what they get. Lots of fun. I love interactive cards. Now for my second card I'm going to use this gorgeous pattern paper and uh, I need to have a sentiment at the top, that's why I will be using vellum. This way it's going to help the sentiment to stand out against the busy background. I will stamp the one that says snow match and I am going to pair it with another word from the same stamp set that says thanks. I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink on vellum, I'm going to emboss it with white embossing powder now I have uh, cut down the vellum to size and now I'm going to wrap it around my pattern paper and just secure it at the back I have some uh, tape adhesive. Now I'm going to embellish my card just a little bit more so next to the sentiment I'm going to stick a little snowflake that I have cut out. This die is not included in uh, this kit but uh, I'm cheating a little bit here so I'm going to stick the little um, uh, label there that I have stamped with the word thanks to complete my sentiment and my card is ready. I'll just stick a little gem at the center of my snowflake and here are some close-up photos of this card. Moving on, I have uh, this pattern paper which is uh, left over from the previous card and I'm trying to pair it with something else. So I have picked another gorgeous pattern paper with uh, lots of um, little creatures on top. And at the bottom of this panel I have stamped my sentiment that says Snow Much Thanks. I have embossed it with white embossing powder again. And I'm using the thread from the kit as well as a little uh, needle and I'm going to thread some pom-poms. I'm using the blue ones and the white ones in no particular order, so completely random here. And then I'm just going to wrap it around this piece of paper. I will make sure that I have three pom-poms on every row. And of course you can use scotch tape to secure the, th the ends of the thread at the back. I'm using here double sided tape since that's what I have on my table. I'm just going to chop off uh, the excess thread and my little embellishment is ready. I'm just going to stick this down with some uh, foam tape. And here is a look to the finished card. Moving on to the next card and I'm going to do some stamping. I'm using the biggest of the penguins included in the stamp set. I'm stamping it with uh, black ink. I'm also going to stamp a couple of hearts and I will color everything with my alcohol markers, just some basic coloring on the cheeks, the hearts, as well as a little bit on uh, his uh, beak. I'm also using my scissors to cut out the penguin. I'm leaving a very thin white border all around and I'm also going to cut out the hearts. And again I'm working on one of the pattern papers. I'm stamping the sentiment that says I'm snow in love with you. Again with Versamark ink and white embossed. And I'm going to put everything together. So I have cut out this um, snow slope out of uh, white glitter paper. I'm uh, going to place it at the bottom of my panel and then stick uh, the penguin on top with some foam squares at the back. So this little guy is saying I'm snow in love with you. A lovely winter card, perfect for Valentine's Day as well. I'm going to stick down the little hearts that I have cut out. And now some finishing touches, if you add a touch of white to the center of the black eyes, it really brings your creatures to life. Since I also have the um, glossy accents inside the kit, I'm also going to add some on the hearts, his eyes and the beak. And my card is ready. So here are some close-up photos and I will make another version of the same idea later on in this video. 
For the next card, again I'm doing some stamping. This time I'm stamping the smallest of uh, the penguins from the set. I'm going to stamp him twice, give him some color, just a little bit on the cheeks and the beak, and then use the scissors to cut him out, just like I did for the previous card. As I'm doing my cutting, notice that I don't pay too much attention at the bottom of the penguins. I'm planning to tuck them behind windows so they are not going to show. I just make sure that I cut out only the top part of the penguin nice and tidy. Now I'm going through my dies and uh, try to decide which type of windows I want to create on my pattern paper and I will go with the squares just because I have the plaid design on this pattern paper. So I'm going to cut out three windows with bigger and smaller uh, squares. One of them I needed to be slightly larger to fit inside my sentiment and the other two are going to be smaller so that I can pop inside those penguins. Now I'm going to place my panel on top of my card base and then I will place on top of that my sentiment so I know exactly where this is going to fall before I do the stamping. Just a little bit of measurement there, mainly eyeballing. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says uh, there is no one like you with black ink and then on top I'm going to stick my panel with the windows and I did use some foam tape at the back so you can see that there is dimension. Now I'm playing around with the penguins to decide where I want them uh, to uh, stick out so some of them are going to be upside down just for the fun of it and the other one is going to come in from the side. Of course, again, you can add some uh, uh, glossy accents on uh, different elements of the penguins just to make them look more shiny. I decided to leave it as it is and I think it is a great card to hand out to a man as well as a woman. So here I'm going to continue the same idea as card number 4. I have stamped those penguins twice and I'm going to turn one of them into a girl by giving her some eyelashes. And she also has uh, red cheeks, pink cheeks, while the other penguin doesn't. So one of them is a boy, the other one is a girl and I'm going to create a little um, love Valentine's Day card. So I have created a snow bag. On top of it I stamped my sentiment with red ink that says I'm snow in love with you. And then I'm going to place that on top of uh, my pattern paper. I'm going to stick down a couple of those slopes and then on top I'm going to stick my penguins to create my little scene. Add the heart on um, the guy as well as a little red ribbon on the girl. And never forget to add a dot of white inside the black eyes. They really make a difference and bring your characters to life. For my next card I decided to work on this uh, circle cutout that I had as a leftover from the first card. So I stamped one of the snowflake, snow, snowmen from uh, the stamp set. I'm also going to stamp the sentiment that says thanks for my gift. And I'm going to color him with mainly blues and reds since I will be using a pattern paper with these colors. So everything is uh, pretty much um, matching. Now uh, just to make him uh, more interesting and not uh, just have a circle at the center of my card, I am going to cut out with my scissors one side of uh, the snowman. And I'm cutting everything right where the black line is. I'm not leaving any white border at all. So I'm putting everything together here. I'm going to stick this piece of uh, pattern paper on top of another strip that I have cut out just to have that um, red line on the very edge of my paper. And then on top I'm going to stick my a little snowman. And here are some close-up photos on this card as well. Now you probably know that I love shaker cards and in my 1 kit 10 cards videos I usually end up with one shaker card. So this is the one for uh, today. I have used this beautiful pattern paper with the penguins and the snowmen. I just cut out a window at the center. I temporarily placed it on top of my card base to stamp the sentiment inside. And I'm going to complete the sentiment with the word thanks. So the whole sentiment says thanks so much. I am going to 
take off the panel now and I will add some uh, acetate at the back of this window as well as all that foam tape. And now on the inside I'm going to add my sequin mix. I will remove all the backing from my foam tape and then stick on top my panel. And here is my shaker card, quick and simple to make but so much fun to receive. Now here is another leftover that I have from a previous card, so I will work on the white panel, stamp the sentiment that says so much thanks, and um, I will create a little um, embellishment with the string and my pompons. So I thread it to both ends, one white and white blue. I'm going to make sure that they are all the way to the edges of this thread and also make sure that you tie a knot so that they don't slide all the way out of the thread. Now I'm going to wrap them around and secure them in place. This way I end up with a lovely embellishment with dangling pom-poms on top of my card. I used foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And you can call your card done or if you are like me and you don't know when to stop, you can uh, create a little uh, snowflake with your dies, just cut it out and stick it at the top, just where those two threads meet. And now let's move on to the last card for today. You do end up having lots and lots of those cutouts with those labels and the sentiments that you can use to create even more cards. And I'm going to show you now just one idea of what you can do with those. So here I'm sticking one leftover pattern paper on top of another, the blue, the dark solid blue. And on top I'm going to use one of those um, labels from the pattern paper. I just cut it out by using a circle die. Now, just to embellish my card a little bit more, I'm just going to stamp snowflakes from the stamp set. They come in various sizes and I'm going to stamp them all around, switching from bigger to smaller. Now, of course, you can prepare your background panel before you stick everything on top, but that was like a last minute thought, so I had to do whatever I could at this stage. This is a very quick and simple card. Of course, you can uh, white embossed the snowflakes beforehand if you want. I went with just stamping with uh, Colorbox pigment ink that looks awesome and it's really fast. And now, just like always, let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I created for today using products from the January Card Kit by Simon Says Stamp. For a chance to win this card kit, make sure to head over to my blog, there is a giveaway there, where you just need to leave me a comment. Now, this kit is great for your stash, so I still have lots and lots of bonbons. I do have the die and the big stamp set for my stash, and I do have um, the thread, the ink pad that I haven't used at all, as well as the glossy accents, of course the tags and the envelope, and I still have some leftovers from the pattern papers to create even more cards. So these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and you got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those 10 cards was your favorite, I always love reading those answers, and um, make sure to join the giveaway on my blog. Thank you all so much for visiting today and I will be back tomorrow with a fun blog hop. Have a lovely day!